No, my don't sleep on my boy. King of New York. No, no competition. He's not the king of New York. Sorry to say, Simon Siv, but six nine has never been the king of anything. If he was the king of New York, then he should have started rapping like. 20 years ago. But, unfortunately, he has no experience still in the past four years. He only had a big break four years ago because of that one stupid song that blew up during his earlier years. That's right. This man is the best lyricist in the game. Uh, yeah, I have to disagree with you there, Simon. I mean, when's the last time he rhymed about anything? That's, when's the last time he actually rhymed a good song? Hmm? Oh, what's that? Oh, right, you can't hear me from here. Right. He has done none of that. And judging by the song Gooba so far, nothing whatsoever has has made me change my mind that he's a good rapper. J. Cole ain't got shit on him when he says cha-cha-cha. That's soul music right there. Y'all just... Again, it's not... It's not really mu music right there. It's just him recycling like like his lyrics and he even recycled his uh his song his song Gooba sounded as the same as the last one I just don't be peeping it like I do man six not I never peep in because again he is a terrible terrible rapper he is I mean, I know you're a big 6 9 fan, so you don't realize that, but... Or you don't agree with that, but, like, that's how I feel at the end of the day. I just think he's not that good. That is all. 6 9 it's come out with, like, these lyrics, cha-cha-cha, just don't mean cha-cha-cha. It means a whole, it just touches the heart right there. That's true inspiration right there. Playboy Cardi, no. J. Cole, no. Like, what are they? This man saying real words right here, spitting real bars. He never spit real bars. He never did. <laughs> this is the shit we want to hear. No doubt about it. 6 ix 9 the greatest rapper alive. No doubt about it. Look at these, like, Gooba. Don't know what that means. Cause I don't, but that shit hits the heart. He's really not the greatest. And how does it hit me, really? It kind of doesn't. Chest cloud, bitch. Oh shit, that's like the million dollar chain. It's like the shark chain, yo. Let's out. I'm stupid. Okay, why? Why did he use a hammer to beat down his chair? Why? Stupid. 
dumb, stupid. You better be careful with that. I'm pretty sure his parents won't like him using the hammer in a aggressive type of way. And I fear that he's gonna hurt his beautiful face, so. that he made a huge big mess like a little kid because he was too zoned in on that stupid song which is why stupid notification which is why that song sucks it'll make you lose what you really need to do which is to not make a mess on the carpet. And now look at his reaction. I'm gonna record a final part of this, just in case uh, my recorder automatically goes out again. So yeah, BRB. Now, what do you think that stupid kid's reaction is gonna be? Is he A, gonna panic? B, gonna cry, or C, is he gonna get mad? If you choose A, then you're correct, because this is what it looks like. I mean, you knew what you were doing. It wasn't a surprise to me that you were gonna rip your chip bag apart. Now you got Cheetos all over the floor and your mom is gonna get so mad at you for this. What were you thinking, Simon? What were you thinking? You were overly too excited over that stupid song. See what that song does to people? That song will, will distract you for trying to avoid making a mess like this. And now, and now we'll look what we got here. This spoiled child is making a huge mess. Now what's, what's he gonna do? Eat everything off the floor as a five second rule? I don't think so. He can't eat everything off the floor as a five second rule. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you, you guys want some Cheetos? Yeah, I'll set up some Cheetos if they all weren't on the floor or more than five seconds. And I'll have some Cheetos if you didn't rip the whole bag apart. If you actually paid attention and just put the bag down instead of being overly excited because of that stupid song. 
see that what that song does to people, it makes it makes people like him dumber. I mean, come on. It is obvious. It is obvious Simon Siv doesn't have an A plus grade. He doesn't have A plus grades. He only gets like a like a C grade or a D grade. That's it. That's how far he goes. Other than that, he's nowhere near an academic kind of person. And that's all things Sissic 9 who makes people dumber every single minute. Every time they listen to this shitty song. Kill me. No. Yeah, exactly. She is. No, mommy's gonna kill me. Mommy's gonna kill me. Exactly. She is. Okay, we might have got a little bit too carried away there. Oh my. You think? You think? No, mommy, mommy, mommy's gonna kill me, mommy. I'm back. I'm back. He's mad. Ha ha. Don't care. Yo, we just turned to a mouse. Yo, he's a mouse now. What the? Yo, I just changed his head. I don't really care about that. <laughs> Big man. Yo, he got a whole Apple Watch on it. Yo, that's a real flex right there. When you got an Apple Watch on your on your ankle, that's a whole ass flex right there. Big bag. Damn, shoddy. Ah. That's right. I mean, this is just. Wow. Look, I'm not gonna hate on this kid for going places already. He has about 45k subscribers, as I mentioned probably before in the last couple minutes. But what he needs to do is to not fuck up any more than he already has. And this kid. No. He he has already fucked up by spilling Cheetos over the floor. Right. For a shot. Oh, what a shout out. What the? Look. He back showing us. He back showing us. <sighs> that. I don't even know what to say. Well, my life just changed right there. My life just changed right there, too. Because you got a loner, and you're stupid because you dropped Cheetos over the floor. My life just changed right there. I will never be the same after that video. Oh my gosh. Of course, you'll be forever known as the clumsy kid now. That's definitely a 10 out of 10. No, no cap about that. That's a 10 out of 10. Y'all can't even lie. This is the best song we've ever heard. It is the worst song we ever heard. Excuse you. Biggie, no competition. I mean, Tashi got no competition right now. He's a king, not only in New York, but the world. Oh my God, bro. I'm, I'm busting right now. Ah, uh, y'all. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, 10 out of 10 music video. Y'all know we got some badass shoddies in that one. So subscribe, like the video, man, comment, get this to 1 million likes, and I'll link up with Takashi just for y'all. We'll throw some bangers out there, you know, we'll throw my first song, maybe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but before y'all go, y'all got. Look, I know that some of you 6 9 fans are gonna hate on me because Simon Siv is a, is a huge 6 9 fan. But 
as my point stands earlier this this video right now 69 is the worst rapper of all time and he can remain that way to me because he is nowhere near an M who is the best rapper of all time better than any rapper in my generation of the 21st century. Adam has 20, about over 20 years of experience and 6 9 only has 4 years of experience and he went to jail for about almost 2 years ago. And I believe that he's still on probation right now at home. I believe he's still he's still at probation at pro, probation at home. Like he's at he's like on house arrest. I think I think that's what it's called. Yeah, house arrest. So yeah, I just wanted to say that, and I don't care if you. If you 6 9 fans are going to disagree with me, be, just because a 6 9 fan, a, a big 6 9 fan, claims to prove, quote unquote, prove that 6 9 is the best rapper of all time. And he hasn't been the best rapper of all time at all since uh, he got to jail. All 6 9 had to do in the first place was to stay out of trouble and he wouldn't be the worst rapper of all time. But his song, Gooba, is likely the only worst song that I have ever heard so far. And if I find any more 6 9 songs from, from anyone reacting to it, I'm going to say that it's the worst also because unless he has to have one good song that he can actually pull it off for a change that I might be able to like, then my mind will change. But if he doesn't have that one song that could change my mind, then it was never meant to be. So that is why. 6 9 in my opinion, is the worst rapper of all time. And that's why this kid made a fool of himself on the internet for making a huge mess on the floor. And, like, seriously, why does he have a hammer in the video? Why did he have it? Like, he really could hurt himself. And really. Since he's this horny, he should probably get girlfriends of his own. Like, yeah. To be this horny. Like. He gotta at least. He gotta at least have like Viagra at his house every night because that's what gives him owners the most I think he took Viagra just before he even made this video I believe that's what he did I believe that 100% I really do I seriously do no one could, would be that stupid enough to be zoned out from real life and to not get a boner because of the girls he's been looking at. Anyway, that's all I have to talk about. I just wanted to mention that, uh, and, uh, you know, that he basically is going places after all. 
if he comes back, I want him to come back strong and to actually do a lot better than last time. Really. I really do. I want him to come back a lot better than last time. Alright. Ricky out. Enjoy his boner.